I chose Miami to pursue my studies through an internship that I had taken. Uh, I did my undergraduate work at Franklin College in, in pure mathematics and uh, through the recommendation of a professor um, took an internship in uh, statistical research. I uh, had provided a, a lot of um, research studies uh, utilizing statistics uh, to this uh, farm in northern Indiana and as a result realized that, that I had, did have a passion for statistics and wanted to continue my studies in it. Uh, my professor at the time uh, ha was an alumnus of Miami University and uh, he recommended looking into the program here and uh, that's when I made my decision to to enroll and uh, try to accomplish a master's in statistics. So I got interested in the, in the course uh, of work as in statistics by really pursuing uh, my interest in mathematics, which turned into an internship that, that led me to statistics. Uh, there's a distinction between the two. Um, I, I felt that with mathematics I was going to be a math teacher. I uh, wasn't quite sure what I would do outside of that, but with the introduction to statistics I realized an application within the business world. And as a result, I, I I really developed a passion for knowing that there was a lot of opportunity out within uh, marketing professions, within um, IT, within pharmaceutical, um, within pharmaceutical studies that uh, allowed me to apply statistics, and that really led me to the the my involvement with Miami and, and understanding that I really wanted to accomplish the the, the masters in statistics. Um, there were several professors at Miami that, that definitely had an impact on, on my studies here. Um, you know, being in the graduate school, it, it was a, a small department and it, it was very uh, close-knit with respect to the studies and the mentorship with the professors. Um, I recall the, the first class on campus was an introduction to probability that Dr. Emily Murphy uh, ha had taught and I realized how quickly, how tough the, uh, the program would be and, and it really set me uh, on the path to know that I, I had to study very hard to uh, accomplish what I wanted to accomplish. And you know, from Dr. Baylor to Dr. Dunn and Dr. Groggle, uh, many of them were, were very willing to, to help me along the way and helping me understand their courses and then also help and assist with uh, my understanding of what could I do with, with my degree once, once I accomplished it. Miami prepared me for, for what I'm doing now by, by instilling an extremely hard work ethic um, with, with the um, difficulty of, of the program and, and understanding that you know, I needed to study hard to, to obtain the, the masters that I wanted to achieve and knowing that that's applicable in real life. You, know, you need to uh, set out to work your, your hardest in, in whatever you, you set out to do and that, that, that prepared me. Um, along with just the, the, the foundation of my understanding of statistics and its application into the real world. The most rewarding and exciting aspect of my work is the opportunity to work closely with individuals within admissions offices. Um, I, I know that there's many a times where they're struggling to understand their data and analyze their data and, and I have the opportunity to, to dig into that data for them to extract useful information so that they can um, utilize it to make decisions with that information. And, being able to interpret that information in an actionable way for them and, and to help them comprehend what their data is saying is very rewarding. My advice for students as they uh, are entering into the potential of a statistics uh, degree or, or even a master's um, would be to take an internship without a doubt. It's the quickest way to understand if there, you have a passion for um, what you think you want to enter into. I think it's also a, a great way to develop leadership skills early on and to understand where you might want to uh, apply your practice of statistics. Ten years from now when, when you update my profile, I would expect to um, be continuing to grow my, my, my business target enrollment group to continue to add to my team uh, of statisticians and, and to expand the client base that I have uh, currently with, within higher education. My inspiration for starting a, a company like Target Enrollment was just the, my desire to take statistics to in, industries where I feel it's underutilized. Um, coming from a, a large company, 
um, where a lot of emphasis is put on statistical learning and, and data analysis for um, making decisions within the company, I, I felt that there was an opportunity within higher education to help provide that support, uh, a support that is not commonly available within recruiting and retention in, in higher education.